welcome to a clary tale i wasn't actually going to put a vlog up this week because nothing very exciting has happened but i thought i was in the middle of editing a vlog that i did while i was out in florida and i'm going to call it something like a day in the life of a cast member and i remember at the time filming it thinking wow this this is boring <laughs> but um actually re-watching it it could be quite interesting for people that would like to know what it's what it's like getting ready for work and then going to work, all that sort of stuff. To me, when it was getting filmed, I was thinking this is so mundane, so ordinary, but re-editing it and I'm thinking, oh, I miss doing that. And so I think I thought to myself, I kind of inspired myself to film what I get up to as, as an ordinary weekend. Um, basically every weekend we do the same sort of thing so that's why I haven't been filming weekly vlogs recently either because I just thought it would been pretty ordinary pretty boring um, but I thought I'd just do a little weekend vlog to show you what we do at a weekend I'm doing 40 hour weeks at the moment at work and um, but I do have Saturdays and Sundays off which is brilliant especially because Sa Simon's off Saturday Sundays as well which is just perfect it tends to just be we go shopping we go to town um, and then we always on a Sunday go to a garden center or go to a cafe and have a little catch up with my parents obviously with um, vlog was coming up I'm going to be daily vlogging again so I thought that you wouldn't mind that I don't put one up this week but I'm putting one up anyway so it's all good maybe next week I don't put one up and then the vlogmas will be starting pretty soon can you believe how quickly it's approaching December is going to be here before we know it it's actually crazy I just can't believe time since I got back from my program has just gone like that I just can't believe it I landed early March and it's now in early December absolutely crazy and um, anyway so Simon's not here at the moment he's gone to the gym this morning and then he's he also had a spec savers appointment last weekend when we were there to get the appointment I picked up I've seen it on about three or four Twitters and Instagrams Mickey 90 glasses case how good is that I absolutely love it and it's really small as well so it's really perfect for my glasses I wear contacts mostly but um, it's a great place what I do is I wear contacts every day but I worry that sometimes they get dry um, towards the end of the day so I always take the empty contact lens box and my glasses just in case I need to swap over in the evening which I tend to do anyway um, Anyway, so he's there, uh, but I'm going to drive in shortly. The only sort of driving I do these days is into town and back, which isn't very far, but at least it keeps me, it's like a bike, isn't it? It keeps me remembering how to how to work this car of mine. Um, so I'm going to drive into town and we're going to meet up. We'll go to Morrison's. Um, I tend to see my parents in Morrison's as well because we all sort of shop at the same time. So after Morrison's, I want to go to the shops because, well, when I say shops, my little town has two shops for clothes. One is Dorothy Perkins and the other one is New Look and that's it. Actually, is the New Look still there? I don't even know. It's, our, our town's very small. There isn't much, <laughs> much choice. Um, but I've looked on the Dorothy Perkins website and there's a few nice things, some nice Christmassy tops I'm looking for really, sort of wintry, nice tops um, to, if I'm going for meals and to nice Christmassy things. Like with my family and stuff a lot of my clothes tend to be quite summery because I, I buy a lot of things while I'm in America so I don't have sort of wintry things obviously I have all the spirit jerseys in the world and jumpers and things and um, but I'd like something a bit a bit fancier maybe so I'm gonna have a look in Dorothy Perkins and New Look today and um, I also want to try and get my hair cut and um, it's just yeah it's a bit lifeless at the moment and it's really dark on top but light down here which is just crazy because I haven't dyed it the last time I dyed it was three years ago for my wedding <laughs> every time I say my wedding I can hear Simon in my head go our wedding <laughs> um and I dyed it darker then so these light ends I don't know where they've come from I think maybe the sun dyed it when I was out there and it's just grown out maybe uh, but when I look back at my vlogs I really like my hair lighter so I might get um, some inches cut off and then maybe some bit of blonde highlights maybe pretend I'm in the 90s <laughs> or pretend I'm in the sunshine and um, so I'm gonna look to get a hair appointment somewhere there's still a lot of can you hear that still quite a lot of work going on around here and um, this morning Simon shouts oh aren't they nice they're building us a swimming pool <laughs> so I was like oh what what's he going on about I looked out the window let me show you <laughs> there it is 
That's our new swimming pool, guys. <laughs> So Simon has said he is ready, so I'm grabbing my coat and getting ready to go out because um, we are going to Morrison's. <laughs> I get really excited about the food shop. Is that just the saddest thing in the world? Does anyone else enjoy food shopping though? I really enjoy working out what we're having for the week and making sure we've got enough to last us for packed lunches and our dinners and everything. And I love looking for new things. And obviously Christmas is on its way. So there's loads of new Christmas things out at the moment. So definitely gonna get a few for treats for Strictly. Simon just guided me into this car parking space because I'm that useless. <laughs> I also had to drive a long way into town so that I don't have to go down this busy one-way system because there's a one-way system where you have to push in left. You, you have to like barge your way in to turn left. So I went a long way around so that I'm already in the left lane. <laughs> I'm just not an aggressive driver. I can't stand it. Um, but yeah, we're going to Morrison's now. <laughs> So this is my little town and I'm just going to go to Dorothy Perkins. And I was right, the new look over there has closed down. Um, and this is the market, our little market we have every Saturday. Christmas has arrived in Morrison's. <laughs> Not much room in there, Simon. Not for two more. <laughs> what are these? Rollo snack bars in the fridge. Fluffy chocolate mousse covered in thin top. Oh, should we get some? Try some if you like. Yeah. This is what I love. I love finding new things. Look who we found. <laughs> oh, look at him. He is adorable. I really want to make a gingerbread house. Oh, it's a village. A gingerbread village and a gingerbread house. Maybe I make one at Christmas time. They're only a fiver. Bargain. Christmas cake section. These are my favorite cakes in the world, guys. They're so good. And last week I bought them and I bought those as well, but they look so exciting, but actually they were a little bit disappointing. Um, my mom and dad had them at the Halloween party. I am looking for, oh, there's Yule logs, flake cakes. <coughs> they had mint flapjacks here last week and I was ready to try them this week, but they're all gone. They must be good. We always come to this uh, this one because we love to do it ourselves. <laughs> I could get a job in Morrison's, me. <laughs> so because we've seen my mum and dad in town, which is something that we always do anyway, we're going for a coffee with them and we probably will tomorrow as well, but we're going into Starbucks. They've got loads of new Christmas uh, flavours of coffees and stuff that we might try. So here's one, look, salted caramel, I won't like that. Oh, it's just salted caramel, I thought they had loads. Toffee nut. Oh, there's mum. <laughs> oh, the Christmas tree's up. Oh, there's a wreath and everything. What are you going to get? Oh, yeah. I've not seen that before. So that's different to what they used to be in England. They've got football. No, they've got is, that Saint, is that St. George's Hall? Yeah, there's that's... the flying live there. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's flying. Oh, an entry. Race oh, course. Race car. That is good, you know. We That's should get that. Albert Dock, Stanford, yeah. yeah. We should get that, you know. The ferry across the Mersey. Oh yeah, ferry across the Mersey. We should get that. There's an England one below as well. <laughs> and it's got rain. That's so typical. <laughs> There's a salted caramel brownie hot chocolate. It looks amazing, but I really don't like salt on my caramel. So I'm going to ask if they can be separated, but I doubt it. If not, I'll get a white hot chocolate. That cinnamon roll thing looks good. It does, doesn't it? I think I might have the, um, the blue roll. <laughs> What's that? Oh. <laughs> oh, puns are my favorite. Coils looks good, Dad. What's yeah, that one? Yeah, it's a toffee latte. Oh, lovely. Yeah, we'll see you in a minute. Look at this white hot chocolate. This looks insane. Oh my gosh. That is so good. <laughs> I didn't get that, but Simon just went like that. Don't you dare. Hands off my whipped cream. <laughs> wow. Mine is epic. It looks the same as yours, actually. It has the size of it. We're going, we're going into M&S. 
the poinsettias have arrived. These look lovely. We're definitely going to get one of these. I actually they bought. They look fake, don't they? They do. They look a bit dead as well. We'll wait till closer to the time. I like the ones with glitter on. Mm, um, I bought a pot, you know, from Ikea for these. <laughs> Christmas cards. <laughs> Elf. Oh, shortbread. Halloween chocolate and orange muffin. Look at the colour of it. That's brilliant. Oh, they've got a red velvet one as well. Here they are, guys. Get your Where's Wally advent calendar from M&S and we can play together. <laughs> right, next stop is Home Bargains. There were a few things in Morrison's we couldn't get, so we're going to try in here. Cool, is he heavy? No, but he's, um, he's expensive. He's really dear. <laughs> I bet you're all sick of these puns. <laughs> so we just got home from town. We've put all the food away and I thought I'd show you what I bought in Dotty Peas. Try on haul, no not really. I'm not actually gonna try anything on. You'll see it, I'll wear it in December anyway. Um, but I bought two tops. I actually, uh, tr I tried them on in the shop as well. I'm one of those, I always need to try things on, which is why I hate internet shopping because I hate the effort that you have to try it on, send it back and the, God, I just can't be bothered with that. So I tried these on in the shop and um, one of them um, was a bit tight in the arms. It was really short, like it came to, it was just too tight. So she suggested that the, they have a tall section there. So I tried on the tall in the same size and it was perfect. So I bought that, I'll show you that one first. So this is it. I can't really show you properly, can I? Um, it's like black with silver flowers and it's really nice. And in his ironing, obviously. But I thought it looked nice with some silver glittery um jewelry and stuff so that's that one that'll be perfect on christmas day it'll be really nice then i got this maroon one as well i don't know how i can show you this properly but this is it's got a really nice wide neck and really nice little glittery bits and the arms are actually see-through so they look really it looks really cool on and uh, definitely looks better on than it does there <laughs> but yeah so that's what i bought in dorothy perkins not much choice in our little town for for clothes unfortunately so we're actually going to spend the next bit of time building a table because my parents kindly went to ikea for us to pick this table up uh, they offered to go for us this week which was really good of them because it's a long way to go to so yeah very grateful for that and um, but it's a table for our living room so we finally have a coffee table which we haven't had we've had to put um as you can see little things here for our mugs and then we have to pick, go from the table to get our drinks so it's going to be great to have, finally have a coffee table am i do a little time lapse so you can see us make it when i say us i mean simon he's probably going to be the one building it and i'll just hold pieces together <laughs> through side up. <laughs> Watch your fingers. How would it work for us putting things in now? Would we 
take this off again, or do we do it through the side doors? Unless it's big. Finito! Big sigh of relief. Oh, you can see you in the, in, in, the, in the reflection. We have finished it. Do we like it? So now, yeah, I really like it. like it. Um, now we're going to fill it up with bits and souvenirs and stuff. So we're just going to open these and we can put all the memorable things in there that we collect, can't we? Yeah, we'll make it Christmassy. Yes. The Christmas lights and bits of... Yes. We can put little fairy lights, we can put bits of tinsel and I've already bought a few Christmassy things. We can put some baubles in that don't yeah, go on the tree. Green garland things. Yeah. Judy's? What? <laughs> Judy Garland. No, that looks good. I'm happy with that. The only from Ikea wasn't too bad. It was a little bit finicky at points, but no, it didn't take us too long, did it? Done. Right, let's put it in the middle of the room, shall we? Right, I'm going to catch up on It Takes Two now. Um, my brother's just texted asking if I want to go to Liverpool tomorrow with him and Jayla Ray. Apparently there's some sort of train thing on show that he wants to show me. Um, so I might do that and I might sneakily go into Disney Store to see if there's anything that Jayla Ray... Ca like anything that catches his eye and I can get it for Christmas then um yeah so that's good that's a nice little I love it when unexpected things happen so that'll be a nice day tomorrow so I've just been watching a few vlogs while I have changed all the beddings upstairs on the two beds done all the dishes tidied up a little bit Simon's been uh, revising for the past few hours for his exams and I'm gonna get the dinner on and Strictly starts in an hour or so so I'm gonna catch up on it takes two because I haven't caught up yet and yeah have a nice little relaxing evening so i'll pick you back up tomorrow when we're going to go to liverpool so see you tomorrow well good morning the sun is beautiful today i needed my sunglasses on um i am just walking to the train station and i'm meeting my brother and my little nephew there and we're gonna have a fun little day in liverpool how nice are these leaves behind me lovely yellowy and orange autumn is here all the leaves are falling as well, so winter is coming. I can't wait, it's nearly Christmas. <laughs> I just heard a little clear. <laughs> Hello, is this for me? Oh. I can't. Do you want me to do it with you? Yeah. 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 Got a space Let's pen. see, what have you got? Where did you get this from? Really, the train man? Should we write your name on it? How do you spell your name? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Special pass? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise, surprise, our first stop is Dunkin' Donuts. Oh my gosh, this is the new one. I've never been here before because Simon got me one the other week, but I've not actually stepped foot in here. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, the smell is just like America. This is amazing. What donuts have we got? Wow. Rocky Road, strawberries and cream, chocolate caramel duo. Look at this one. Caramel cheesecake, cookies and cream, Boston cream. Look at this one. Smiley face. Mr. Yeah, you had that one last time, Mr. Happy, didn't you? And what have we got on this side? Oh, white chocolate. This is the one Simon got for me. Triple chocolate thing. Creme brulee. Wow. Chocolate orange. Cherry cheesecake. There's a cherry cheesecake. Lemon cheesecake. Lots of cheesecakes. Oh my gosh, I'm excited. The anticipation. I know. <laughs> wow, that is amazing. Look at those. So you're having one, the apple pie. Apple what one pie. are you having first? You can have your smiley face. So we are coming up to Lime Street Station. So basically at the moment, um, the past three weeks, my train line has been closed for refurb uh, because we're getting all these brand new trains. They've spent millions of pounds on these trains, um, but they don't actually come into our lines for two years, but they've had three weeks of expanding the platform so that it will fit these new trains. There's a, the, one of the new trains, I think it's either a replica or a model of what it's gonna look like, is in Lime Street. So we're just gonna go and have a look, see what it's gonna be like. It's exciting because our trains are getting a bit old now, so it'll be nice to see what these look like. 
So we've been told to follow these signs. New trains arriving 2020. Come and see the new train. New train this way, guys. I can see it as well. Whoa, it's massive. That's bigger than ours, right? Oh, whoa. That is so futuristic. Are we allowed in? Yeah. <gasps> wow. Yeah. New track. New train arrived in 2020. Wow. Pardon? No, it's not going anywhere. <laughs> you press the button. See, here's the bit that comes out to the platform. Oh, so there's no more mind the gap. Wow. They're very spacious, aren't they? Oh, look, there's USB and plug sockets. You don't get those in our Mersey Rail trains. Wow. It's good, isn't it? There's no like in between bits. Oh yeah. There's no like carriages. Oh yeah. Should we go all the way down? Oh, look, it's got your thing on it, and it's. Oh yeah. Wow, very modern. Are you going to see where the driver goes? Are you driving the train, Jane? Am I? Really good. Oh, there's little cameras as well. I don't think I've ever been at the front of the of a Mersey Rail train. We're locked in. All we've got is Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> I don't think it is that happy. I'm in mean, the driver's size, seat. You know. Do you think? I feel like it was a lot bigger than walking this way, a lot I think it's grander. It's, it's not on the tracks. So. Oh, uh, because it's higher up. Yeah. I don't think that one opens, mate. Oh, that's cool. The, the seats lift up. That's cool. Wow, that's clever. Okay, and then if you watch the step, go and press it again. She's got five CDs. The lights are good as well, aren't yeah. they? Watch the step. <laughs> the woman just said that the Mersey Rail trains that we have now on our lines have been leased for the last 40 years so all the old trains are going to go back to their company don't know what they're going to do with them and yeah we're going to have these brand new ones Santa's holding them up So this is what our old trains look like. And just like that, it's home sweet home. It's been a lovely day in Liverpool. I'm really tired now, all that shopping and walking around. Um, it's about 5 p.m. So I'm gonna get the dinner on soon and we've got Strictly results, which is exciting. It's basically Sunday night is just to relax before a busy week of work. I'm gonna start editing this weekly weekend vlog as well. I'm so used to saying weekly vlog that I just said weekly. Um, and as well this weekend vlog actually ended up being a lot longer than I thought it was so that's good so I hope you enjoyed it oh, I'll show you what I bought today as well so I got a I got an electric toothbrush um my electric toothbrush is really like I have to charge it every day now so I'm looking forward to not having to do that um and looks this is, looks like a better version of mine as well it has those pressure lights and it flashes when it hasn't got any battery and stuff so that's definitely an upgrade to my old thing and um, i've also bought some 
makeup just got some number seven stuff from boots and that's everything i bought today actually i got some ideas for christmas so that's good and oh, we bought donuts of course obviously you saw them and yeah it's been a lovely little day and um it's been a it's been a good little weekend so yeah like this video if you did enjoy this weekend vlog and uh, leave a comment as well i always reply to comments so i love getting to know you guys um and yeah subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you next time bye make your memories make your memories take